Ferb. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is me, Ian here in Beijing. So last night we were sitting, looking at the days, and because of the new year, we realised we could take a few days off. And I had a burning desire to go and have a look at the sea, which I will explain to you when I get to the sea, why I wanted to see the sea. Anyway, different story. We are going to travel down the coast on a bullet train. And um, if you want to see what that journey is like during this opening up period here in China, then join me as we head off to catch the bullet train. So we've arrived at the train station now, Beijing South, and we're going to go through um, probably security, but no health check or anything, then grab tickets and head off. That was really relatively straightforward, straight through uh, security, no temperature checks, no check of health codes, nothing. I have seen some people wearing hazmat suits and it does look strange, I have to say, but you also have to remember that everyone's situation is different. That person in the hazmat suit could have a very, very serious underlying issue. So you gotta remember that everyone has a different issue and uh, that they're coping with. And that's one of the main things that I've learned from my father, um, which is all about understanding other people's situation. That's important because part of the reason why I'm going to see the sea is for that, to see my father. <laughs>
So we have arrived at our destination, which is about 550 kilometers down the coast to a place called Qingdao, which is a, it's like a holiday town. Um, although there's you know, millions of people that live here. Uh, it's got a beautiful beach and we're on our way to the hotel because I splashed out a little bit because I wanted a sea view from the hotel. So join me uh, as we head out to have a look at what the hotel's like. Also, just on that trip there, um, it was quite comical. Uh, the kid in front of me was playing the Nostra Rhymes from the UK. So it was all good fun. Um, anyway, I was glad to put my earphones off or on after a while. So let's go see what this hotel's like and also look at the sea. Let's see what the sea's like. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But I'll be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through Hey, 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 there's the sea. That's what I wanted to see, the sea. Look at that. <laughs> I love the sea, I love the sea. So I finally get to see the sea. Um, I was just looking at some of the comments from my previous video that I did. A lot of people left some comments, but there is some people there leaving comments that really, if your life or your idea of leaving a comment involves hoping that old people in China die due to COVID, then you really need to look at yourself in the mirror. Because it's shameful. It's a terrible way to, to be. Anyway, the reason why I wanted to come back to this, the reason why I love the sea, is my father passed away a few years back and um, we took his ashes to Helensburg, which is the sea, because he was a sailor and we threw his ashes in the sea. So, uh, Beijing is not close to the sea. So I woke up last yesterday, actually, and, and then last night, with a real desperate desire to go and see the sea. So finally I got to see the sea here in a place called Qingdao. So this is me, Ian, in China, actually wishing you all the best for the new year. And as always, peace out. Take care.